Hello, and welcome to our Scrum Study course on a guide to the Scrum Body of Knowledge. This is Module 1 of the chapter on Initiate Phase. This chapter includes the processes related to initiation of a project, create project vision, identify Scrum Master and stakeholders, form Scrum Team, develop epics, create prioritized product backlog, and conduct release planning. Initiate phase, as defined in a guide to the Scrum body of knowledge, is applicable to portfolios, programs, and or projects in any industry. Products, service, or any other results to be delivered to stakeholders. Projects of any size or complexity. Let's briefly understand each process that is a part of the initiate phase. The first process in this phase is the create project vision. In this process, the project business case is reviewed to create a project vision statement that will serve as the inspiration and provide focus for the entire project. The product owner is identified in this process. The second process is the identify scrum master and stakeholders. In this process, the scrum master and stakeholders are identified using specific selection criteria. The third process is the identify from scrum team process. In this process, Scrum team members are identified. Normally, the product owner has the primary responsibility of selecting team members, but often does so in collaboration with the Scrum Master. The fourth process is the Develop Epics process. In this process, the project vision statement serves as the basis for developing epics. User group meetings may be held to discuss appropriate epics. The fifth process is the Create Prioritize Product Backlog process. In this process, epics are refined, elaborated, and then prioritized to create a prioritized product backlog for the project. The done criteria is also established at this point. The sixth and last process in this phase is the Conduct Release Planning process. In this process, the Scrum core team reviews the user stories in the prioritized product backlog to develop a release planning schedule, which is essentially a phased deployment schedule that can be shared with the project stakeholders. The length of sprints is also determined in this process. This brings us to the end of Module 1 and our introductory session on the initiate phase. I look forward to seeing you in our next session on the create project vision process. Until then, goodbye and thank you for learning with us.